The segment you're about to see is taken from an early experiment on learning of, a, of aggressive styles of uh, behavior uh, through modeling. Uh, children uh, watched a, uh, a, a filmed adult uh, perform novel aggressive acts toward a uh, inflated doll, and the physical aggression was um, accompanied by uh, novel uh, hostile uh, uh, remarks. We later measured how much of this uh, modeled aggression uh, the children had learned uh, just by uh, watching. Now, the measurement uh, of uh, learning of aggression uh, uses uh, simulated targets rather than uh, live ones. Uh, for example, uh, to test how well bombardiers have uh, learned uh, uh, bombing strategies, uh, you would use uh, simulated targets rather than require them to uh, bomb San Francisco or uh, New York. The uh, model pummeled the doll with a mallet, flung it in the air, kicked it repeatedly, threw it down and beat it. It was once widely believed that seeing others vent aggression would drain the viewer's aggressive drive. As you can see, exposure to aggressive modeling is hardly cathartic. Exposure to aggressive modeling increased attraction to guns even though it was never modeled. Guns had less appeal to children who had no exposure to the aggressive modeling. The children also picked up the novel hostile language. The room contained varied play materials, and children could choose to play aggressively or non-aggressively. Children devised new ways of hitting the doll. Now the object of interest was, was the novel aggressive acts, not punching the doll. The children in the control group who had no exposure to the aggressive modeling never exhibited the novel forms of aggression. And here's a creative embellishment. A doll becomes a weapon of assault. <laughs> 